I could neatly and, and very, you know, cleanly organize all of my different and important reports and dashboards here. So I've got all of my different folders here. If I wanted to kind of keep things in a, in a folder and file system, I've got my pin folders. I've got my bookmarks. I've got my shared folders. So these are things that I've created and shared with people. I've got some personal things for my eyes only. I've got the popular and I've got my, my most recents as well. So there's a lot of different things that you could do here if you wanted to uh, search for something. So, you know, I've got, a, I've got an operating statement here. Let me just do a quick search. There's my open orders or operating statement. I'm going to select that. So just if you want to do a quick search, definitely use that, that search function. So again, I have these different criteria filters here. So if I wanted to look at things like maybe on a rolling 13 calendar, I would just select a rolling 13 view and now everything automatically updates. And just to kind of show you the extensive mapping that we've kind of done on the back end, so it's kind of like that non-sexy work that has to be done at the database layer to be able to produce nice-looking graphics like this. Let me just expand upon some of this, and I'll, I'll kind of show you how far we go all the way down to the transaction level. For instance, if I wanted to just really maybe dig into expenses, and then maybe I wanted to dig into employee expenses, and then maybe um, benefits, or let's pick salaries and commissions maybe. And then I just want to kind of maybe focus on commissions. You'll see that everything is automatically going to update. So now I'm looking at just a rolling 13 view. I'm looking at my commissions. I'm looking at my different actuals per store, per budget department. And I'm also looking at my budget versus actual spread across time here. So let me pick on a particular location. Let me drill into maybe the, the Springfield location. And now everything automatically updates to, to just be Springfield. And I could also do what's called a performance drill through. And what that allows you to do is to get down to the individual transactions with just the Springfield location that's only related to commissions. So these are the individual transactions that built up those commissions that I'm paying out to these sales reps in just the Springfield location. Now, if any of you are using, you know, like a document management system or, um, you know, you, you, you pull in ship tickets or something like that, you can absolutely have that data and that information populated here. So what we would do is like do an Excel feed into our in-memory data warehouse, and then we would either have a link here or that particular number. So if you wanted to pull up a particular invoice that's linked with this particular transaction, maybe to see if there's some type of rebate or something there, then you could absolutely do that. If you get out of here, you could export that to Excel, or you could just close it.